Hello, Ani, and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Grace. I'm an Instagram and mindset coach. I'm indigenous. I'm Ojibwe and Potawatomi from Treaty One Territory, and I help spiritual coaches manifest consistent 5K months in their business on Instagram. And if you're here from TikTok, I help you with your manifestation and mindset. So today I am answering one of your most frequently asked questions, which is how do I manifest a celebrity and in specific, how do I manifest a relationship and love with a celebrity? So let's go ahead and let's hop right into it. So to start us off, I'm going to be sharing eight different instances. I have them all written down on my notes so I don't forget of people who have manifested relationships with a celebrity who weren't famous themselves. So I'm going to talk about this. Um, I actually got this from a website. I'll link the article below so you can go and check it out. But I thought it was such a cool website that came up and I wanted to share the story with all of you. So the first relationship that we're going to talk about is Maya Henry and Liam Payne. So Liam Payne, we all know him as a singer from One Direction. So they met at a One Direction concert at a meet and greet in 2015. So a One Direction meet and greet. And they started dating four years later. The second example is Danielle Caesar. She tweeted about her love for JT Austin and five years before they started dating in 2016. So for those of you who don't know, that's Max from Wizards of Waverly Place. Um, so she was manifesting that relationship before it had even happened. So third example, Joe Jonas. So at 16, he invited a fan to a movie with him and they ended up making out. So that's just like another instance of someone who is not famous getting invited to hang out with a celebrity manifesting love. Okay, another example, number four. Patrick Dempsey, I think I'm saying his name right, also known as Derek Shepard from Grey's Anatomy. His hairdresser, Jillian Fink, he used to go to her all the time and three years after going to this hairdresser, he asked her out. So that's another crazy example. Number five, Maureen Starkey met Ringo Starr at the Cavern I think I'm saying this right, Cavern Club, which is where the Beatles used to play. And they got married in 1965. So just someone who would go and watch the Beatles play ended up marrying Ringo Starr, a member of the Beatles. Okay, now to the next one. Um, according to her former classmates, Kate Middleton had a poster of Prince William on her bedroom wall years before they met. So kind of like having a vision board, she manifested him into her life. Number seven, Alice Kim was working as a server in an LA restaurant when she met Nicolas Cage and they got married two months later. And last but not least, number eight, Kelly Preston and John Travolta. Apparently Kelly Preston watched him in Greece and as she was walking out said, I'm going to marry that man one day. So the reason why I'm sharing all these examples is because one, I found them fun, fascinating. I thought you would also enjoy them. I wanted to show real life examples of this actually does happen in real life because people don't believe me when I say you can truly manifest anything. But I wanted to talk about how you can do this too. But before I jump into this, I want to share with all of you that manifesting a celebrity can be a tricky game. And the reason why I say this is because a lot of the times people don't have the best intentions going into it. They're not manifesting that person because they genuinely want the best for them or because they believe that they're truly soulmates. It's just because of the fact that they are a celebrity. So when going into this, I want you guys to keep in mind that if you are looking to manifest love and to manifest your soulmate, you need to 100% trust the universe that they will send that person your way or someone better your way. So that is something to also keep in mind. Um, if you guys want to learn how my best friend manifested her boyfriend in under 24 hours, I'm going to post the link to that in my description below. So you can also go and check out that video for more tips on how to manifest your soulmate and love. But let's go ahead and hop into how you can manifest a celebrity, meeting a celebrity, or love with a celebrity. Because maybe you guys are watching and you just want to meet a celebrity. So first thing is scripting. So I love, love, love scripting. If you guys want an entire tutorial on how I script, make sure to comment down below. I'd be happy to do that. So essentially scripting is writing as if it has already happened. 
and you're going to write down all of your intentions. Intention setting is super powerful. So what I would do is I would write down, I am so happy and excited because it is future date and I have called in. So for example, I am so happy and excited because it is July 1st, 2022 and I have called in meeting Liam Payne from One Direction. Maybe that's an example of something that you would write in there. So that's one way that you can script. I like to also use the pillow method where you write that and you put it under your pillow. And I also like to call this the tooth fairy method because as a kid, you would put your tooth under your pillow. You wouldn't be checking it a hundred times. You would just trust that the tooth fairy was going to come and put the money under there. So it works the same way, helping you reprogram your subconscious mind. So second is, of course, with a vision board, as we saw in so many of those examples like Kate Middleton or people tweeting their love for JT Austin or different examples like that, um, you can actually manifest your reality using a vision board. So for those of you who don't know, a vision board is essentially a board where you put up a bunch of photos of things that you are calling into your life. So for example, I have my future dream house on there. I had a photo of the amount of followers on TikTok I wanted to have. I had a photo of me with clear skin because that was something I was manifesting for a long time was clear skin. Um, I had a photo of certain products that I wanted to have or a photo of me and my soulmate. Like so many different things that you can put on there. And if you're trying to manifest your soulmate, you don't want to be a specific person, you can do what I did. Like I just used a very like generic photo of two people holding hands and it was just like silhouettes. So it wasn't like a specific person, but I just knew that I was trying to call that into my life. So that's another example of how you can do that. The third way is the law of assumption. This has been being talked a lot on TikToks. So if you want more about this and you want to hear about all the different laws of the universe, comment that down below as well. But the law of assumption essentially states that what you assume to happen is what's going to happen. So if you assume all the time good things always happen to me, then you attract the good. If you just assume bad things happen, then you're attracting the bad. And a lot of people did this, especially in these examples with manifesting celebrities, right? So for example, with John Travolta and Kelly Preston, when she walked out of the theater and went, I'm going to marry that man one day. She was using the law of assumption. She assumed that that was going to happen to her. She knew that the best was going to happen. She didn't have doubt in her mind like, oh, that might happen. She was like, nope, that's happening. I'm already calling it in. So that is another way that you can call in really powerful manifestations. The next thing that I wrote down is called the whispering game. I could make a whole other video with just manifestation games. Um, if you want to check out 20 games to manifest money, that was my last video that I just came out with. That was really fun. So the whispering game is essentially visualizing that your family or friends or other people are talking about you in another room, but saying good things, things that you want to manifest. So for example, oh, did you hear that she just got like a 97 on her test? Like that is so amazing. So you could do this with any manifestation possible, including manifesting meeting a celebrity. So the last thing that I want to say is that, again, manifesting a celebrity is a tricky game. You don't want to go in with ill intentions because that's what you're going to manifest back. You really need to go into it either expecting that that person or someone better will come or just manifesting your soulmate, someone who you want in your life and really just thinking, why do I want to manifest a celebrity? Is it because I actually generally want the best for them or is it just because I want to meet them? In which case, completely okay if you want to meet them. I would definitely manifest like trying to meet a celebrity. That would be really fun. But just wanted to keep that in mind as well that I'm not advertising to manifest of a relationship with a celebrity for every single person. I'm just stating that anything is possible. You can manifest anything. It's happened for a lot of people. And that if that's what you're calling out to the universe, all the power to you. I have not personally done it before because I have not had the desire to, but that's just me. So thank you so much everyone for watching. If you found this helpful, comment down below. I just wanted to do something different and something really fun. This was just supposed to be light and playful and fun. So comment down below if you like these stories and you like these types of videos. And I will see you all in my next video. Thank you so much. Chi miigwech.